All right, so let's talk about the characteristics of our silicones. If you're in the Ecoflex or Dragon Skin line or you're in the Platcell Gel line, it doesn't really matter. They're very similar in terms of the characteristics that we're going to be talking about. One thing that is identical between them is that they are both one-to-one -one ratios, which means that you're gonna use one part of part A and one part of part B. 100 grams of part A goes to 100 grams of part B. Whether you're using Smooth-On products or Polytech products doesn't matter. They're going to be identical in that sense. Now, pot life. Pot life is the amount of time from when part A touches part B until you get to the point where it can't be poured safely. Now, pot life, they tell you what it is, but in my experience, pot life is a guess at best, um, mostly because it has a lot of different variables that go along with it. But we'll use um, the Ecoflex 0050 as an example. Here it says that the uh, pot life is 18 minutes. So uh, from the point that part A and part B touch, we've got 18 minutes to get that into our mold. Now, in those 18 minutes, we've got to get the silicone mixed, get our pigment in there, we've got to get it vacuumed, and we've got to get it poured. So that is the time frame that we've got to get all those things done. Now, one of the things it mentions here is that we should be storing this and using it at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what that infers is that this 18 minute pot life is at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So if your temperature is above or below that, then your pot life is going to change. And more specifically, as your temperature increases, then your pot life is going to decrease. And as your temperature decreases, then your pot life is going to increase. So keep that in mind. If you're not at 73 degrees Fahrenheit, then this 18 minutes is not going to be accurate. So keep that in mind. Now, the second part that we need to think about, cure time. This says it cures in about three hours. And again, this is at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. So the cure time, about three hours, and they're fairly um, aware when they say that because it's not exactly three hours. Uh, again, that's gonna depend on temperature. As your temperature increases, your cure time goes down. Uh, as your temperature decreases, your cure time goes up. Now we can play with temperature. This is, that's a, something that's kind of interesting to, to think about. Uh, we might talk about that in one of the more advanced ones, but uh, we might use temperature to play with some of these parameters if we need to. Now, if you're in a hot studio, um, then keep that in mind. If you're at 80 degrees, that 18 minutes is not accurate. At 80 degrees, it's probably closer to about 12 minutes. Um, it, at 85 degrees, it's probably closer to about nine minutes. So uh, do keep that in mind. Now, on the, on, in this example, this is the gel 0020 uh, from Polytech. Uh, this has a cure, I'm uh, sorry, a pot life of 40 minutes and a demold time of two hours. So um, this has a pot life of 40 minutes versus a pot life of 18 minutes. And then we have a demold time of about two hours versus a cure time of about three hours. So you can see that the pot life and the cure time are not necessarily directly correlated. Now, in general, they're gonna be fairly correlated, but not specifically. I have a very fast um, uh, A25 silicone that has a, a six minute pot life and a cure time of about 60 minutes. So, um, you know, there, there are various versions depending on firmness and, and things like that. But uh, in the end, those are kind of the, the parameters that we need to be talking about is understanding what our pot life and cure times are, what our temperature is, and how temperature affects the pot life and the cure time. And just be aware that you know what your, your pot life is when you're starting your pour, I'm sorry, when you're starting your mix. So if you've got something that has a, you know, a 40 minute pot life, you've got plenty of time to get your, your mix, your pigment in, your vacuuming, and your pour done. 
At 18 minutes, it's a little bit tighter. Um, so that's something to, to think about. And, and you might need to do a little bit more planning if you're doing um, something that has a shorter pot, pot life. Now, there are some things that we can do to try to mitigate that. Um, for example, you know, that 18 minutes starts when part A and part B touch. And instead of mixing our silicone and then adding our pigment, maybe what we do is we take our pigment and mix it into part A. And we mix all of our pigment in first, and then we mix in part B. So we don't have to worry about getting our pigment mixed in after our clock has started. We've already got our pigment mixed in, and therefore our clock doesn't start until we've added our part B. So we can recapture some of that time that way. Um, also, depending on the viscosity, um, we might need more time in order to get the vacuuming done. So uh, those are things to be thinking about. Um, just understand that you need to know your pot life and your cure time, and also what your temperature is and how that's going to impact your process. All right, I think that covers it. Uh, if, if you do have questions, drop a comment down below the lesson, and uh, I'll be sure to make addendums as needed.